Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, I truly appreciate it. I am, my name is Jacinta and I am a just places state just vlogger okay i vlog from places state just so welcome like i said earlier to my new subscribers i'm so happy to have you guys on here and i'm pretty sure that you guys will not regret it okay without further ado let's get into the video please interesting and why is it interesting interesting because I have sort of like experienced I have gone through this in my life so I kind of have an edge over those that don't really know okay so today we're going to, I'm going to be talking about why you should not date in your late teens and your early 20s Late teens, I'm talking about 18, yeah, 17, 18, 19, up until 21, 22, if that makes sense, but yeah. So, um, okay, I have a few points written down in this um, journal. This journal was sent to me by my sister, Mira Bell. Yeah, she is not in the country at the moment i i, I just so much love to know um this journal she was the one who gave it to me and i'm super grateful thank you sis anyway so yeah i had some points written down here just so i won't be blabby or i won't be going back and forth so yeah let's get into this video my first point of why you shouldn't date in your late teens i'm talking to all of you young girls out there and even the guys too i think this is applicable to both genders okay first but we're talking I'm, I'm i'm going to be talking based on the female point of view if that makes sense my point of view okay so um the first point i wrote here is our minds are not mature yet okay the thing is that i was told this okay like when i was in secondary school you know i was my best friend mom i said mom blah 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 this, 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 this. there's a guy that likes me and i like him too hmm. You guys, my mom said, Sit down first. <laughs> she sat me down and she gave me the full breakdown of what things like this what I should expect or what I was working into. And my head, I'm like, it's, it's, not, it's not much of a big deal, it's not, it's not that serious, really. Okay, so you know, I mean, I still went on, I, I still went on, I did head, and I was the kind of girl that had a lot of guys in her corner. So yeah, I dated a lot of people at that time and, you know, it was just like, it was, a, you know, in our heads were like, oh, okay, eh, if they, if they ask us by relationships, but I didn't really relationships. I didn't really relationships. Like, I didn't really consider that as relationships because actual and serious relationships are not for small children like, like us, okay? And my younger self at that time. So I was like, okay, Sha, I was just making mistakes, let's try it center. I was just doing all the wrong things, basically. I was basically doing all the wrong things, if that makes sense. I was dating the wrong people, doing the wrong things, basically. Even though I, my mom told me, oh, hmm, yeah, mind that my mom told somebody say, <laughs> I will not have coconut head. <laughs> That's what the things my mom told me. I still went and I still dated. You know, I, I had dated a couple of guys and I was exposing myself. If I do say so myself, I was exposing myself because when you are with different guys consecutively, you are uh, kind of exposing yourself to different kinds of things really. Like our minds are not mature yet, so we don't really know the gravity or the magnitude of these things called relationships. Everybody just meets a girl, meets boy, you know, girl crushes on boy because I won't call that like girl crushes on boy, boy crushes on girl, and yeah, boom, their relationship. Is that how it works? 
nah, that's not how it works. Sadly enough. So yeah. And you know, I I think I said I kept doing the wrong things, you know, they seen the wrong guys. Mm. Live my life at the time. Like I said, I was exposing myself to a lot and that's not really good. I mean, your late teens, your early twenties, I feel like your main focus should be school. Yeah, I know I'm sounding like <laughs> But that's just the truth, yeah? That's just the plain truth because even I, like, even people that, if, if someone would have told me my, my main focus should be school at that time, I would have looked at you like, please, please, what are you saying? So, yeah, I can't I'm not saying this right now. So, yeah, I feel like my main focus should be school at that time because that's the biggest thing in your life at the moment. Do you understand? You're not paying bills, you're not, you don't have children what problems can you possibly have okay so i mean big thing is cool really just get through school let's get through school first okay all right please my next point is um we do not really understand the concept of commitment you guys what is commitment See, uh, this relationship thing is not just a relationship, a relationship, oh yeah, I have a boyfriend. No! <laughs> no. That's definitely not it. See, uh, commitment uh, is, 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 is more of putting in the work. Okay? And I tell people most of the time, because over time, I've gotten to realize that if you're in a relationship, yeah, then two people must be ready to be in must be intentional intentional in the sense that okay you're in your mind in your head you know that okay yes i'm dating this guy i'm, I'm dating this girl and because i'm dating this guy i'm dating this girl i know i have to walk i have to walk emphasis on work i have to walk towards it um i know that i want to make things work with this person so i'm going to put in my hundred how do you want to put in your hundred when you have school where, where is the time? Where is, where is the time? <laughs> How? <laughs> Please don't mind me. Expect to, unless you don't value your school, unless you don't value your academics, then you can dedicate your life. And the thing is that up this happens, this kept happening up until my hundred level. You know, I was still having things here and there. Dating guys, dating guys here and there in my mind. That was it. I thought I was my child, but you guys, I was doing it all wrong. This relationship, thing, this relationship thing goes beyond, like I said, boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, I have air, I have boyfriend, I have girlfriend. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so I was always dating here and there. You know, in like three months, I was is that dating? That's the situation. If you ask me, because three months, how? No, it doesn't make sense to me. But that was what I was doing, and you know, my academics was suffering. And yeah, okay, you're in university, you don't have anybody to tell you, oh, do this, don't do your assignment, go for lectures, don't go, don't go for lecture. It's what tell in your results, Jerry. <laughs> you don't want to be your academics to be suffering because of a guy that does not even know where he's headed, okay. And that's just the gospel truth. All this of my head, you're suffering. Oh, I like this guy. If it's not him, I'm going to die. This guy does not even have a future yet. This guy is just, has not even started. He has not even started. If you're your listings, sorry, like, like, like yours is even worse because these guys are still co probably collecting money for the child cash from their parents. What, what, what does he have to offer you? Really, what, like, what does he have to offer you? You're killing yourself oh, for this guy. This guy that does not even. He cannot. He he still in school. You guys are in school together. Oh. You guys are in school together. Like you guys are holding the house. What? What? Like ladies, you guys have to do do better. Okay, if you're if you're your late teens, your early twenties. Don't get me wrong. It's not it's not bad to explore, but you have to explore intelligently. Emphasis on intelligently. If you want to explore, you explore intelligently in a way that okay you know that there's like you don't nobody is getting extremely hot you understand and let me just tell you let me just say this because i'm talking or i'm talking from the female point of view does not mean that there are no good guys out there 
there are good guys there are nice good guys out there okay they will let anybody tell you otherwise but it's so unfortunate that in the life or in the generation that we are in now it's it's so unfortunate that most of the guys 99 percent of the guys out there are the worst kind i'm sorry but it's just the truth i'm speaking from experience you guys okay i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not in my late 20s i'm still in my early 20s but like i always say life happens to me so fast that i get to experience these things before other people do before my peers do so it's just like i'm older in my, in my mind i'm older i'm ahead of them but physically i'm just a bit petite okay please enough about that but yeah i'm in my early 20s as well and you know it took me just a short while to realize that oh more you are deceiving yourself okay and another, another mistake i kept making was that i kept looking for the right things in the wrong people okay i'll meet a guy we're in school together with me and this guy we are probably cost me to like we're in school together and i expect this guy to have a to to, to to be mature to have a job to have to have you know to know what he's headed in life to know you know where the shoe hurts know his onions and we are in school together i know that's being unreasonable so please don't be unreasonable understand that these boys these guys <laughs> they are still you guys are on the same level do you understand and we need to be mature faster than guys. So that's one thing you have to understand. You don't don't look for the wrong things, the right things in the wrong in the wrong people. If I mean if I wanted to get I was mature, had a job, had a car, I I know where to find them now. Do you understand? So I read that I was putting unnecessary pressure on these innocent guys, okay? I was expecting so much from them. Meanwhile, they have not even started in terms of life. See, ha, save yourself for Save yourself of the and this thing actually affected my academics in my university days because it told on my on my results and you know how the university system is once you're not able to make a good GPA from your hundred level to your two hundred level then just leave it it's like nothing happening it's like from now to next year it's going to be the same thing that's how the university system is so your first yeah your second year is. I, I do, it's your time to make your CGPA, like to build a good foundation for your academics. Me, I was playing that time. I'm paying for it now. So, yeah. Uh, that was what happened. And, you know, I just thought, okay, since the fire has gone to me, like, why do I need to let it burn a lot of people? Do you understand? Okay, if it's really getting long. My next point is our priorities. Like I said, our priorities, you have to choose. Is this cool or is it a guy that does not even know where he's headed, where the next place is going to, in the next two seconds, step, like someone that cannot make a de decision, take decisions for himself, someone that, 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 that is not really mentally stable. Is that the person you want to, don't, your, choose wisely, your academics or your advice thing is that once you focus on your, once you focus on your, on your academics, yeah, if you're wise enough to choose your academics over all these distractions, you're when you're done with your academics, you only funny thing. Good, nice, clean, serious guys will come your way. So do you understand? You're not you're not running at a loss at this point. Do you understand? So you're not you're not running at a loss. Do you understand? Like you're not at the receiving end because at the end of the day, you get better guys that know what they want and are serious. If that makes sense okay so my next one this video is getting long already my next point is i didn't really want it like i said some of these guys are still collecting pocket money from their parents they do even like they, like these guys haven't even started earning yet it's not about money but if you're like me if you're like me that is a little bit matured and you know my taste in men have to be a little bit on the mature side hey, it's not about the money, your intellect, the way you reason, how do you think, how does your mind work. All these things, you put them into consideration. And that is why you should have a list of what, or you should have an envision, you should envision how you want your kind of person, your kind of man to be. So that when you meet somebody that is not, you, or more, you're not missing time, like, please, I beg, or God, she said, Miss Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't really want this. Like these guys, like what they have to offer, they're still true. They're still young. They're still young. So what? So what they have to offer? Like, what are they bringing to the table? 
not even in terms of money like do these guys even know what they want sometimes they don't know what they want and that's why you see people going through a lot of hard heartbreaks that could have been avoided but that some of them will not listen until the fire burns them so next point uh are we at the receiving end we girls let me in the, in the comment section if you think we are at the receiving end excuse me in terms of everything that i've said ideally we are ideally we are because i feel we girls we get emotionally attached we get so attached yeah and you know most times when we go into relationships we go into them all in we put everything and it's wrong baby girl you don't i've learned the hard way see you guys have learned the hard way i have been hard work countless times i've been in pain heartache i've experienced heartbreak cut it on cut it. be wise be wise you guys you don't put all the eggs in one but you don't give it your hundred see but just is a one leg in one leg out situation because if you put all your everything in it is you that will suffer it last last okay is it i'm crying last last so never give or never put in your hundred into a relationship if you know if you don't know or if you know that the guy is not all in i mean am i speaking sense i speaking to somebody if the guy is not all in what are you how would you know if the guy is all in from his actions his, i can't keep telling you guys all this you should know do you understand and you're not sure if it's the only time I can I feel that you should actually, you know, give it like a 70 or an 80 percent, not even a hundred still. It's probably when you're done with school and you know serious tutors start coming in and you're like, okay, this guy is serious and he he knows what he wants, then you should entertain him a bit. Because even those guys, like they are to touch. Everybody's moving mad. So you have to be very smart too. Like we don't like Let's not keep getting hurt, okay? Over things that could have totally been avoided. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, so you guys, my, this video is already long. Please, I hope I, I hope I, I hope I'm making sense. So I hope I actually made sense, or I'm making sense. So we've come to the end of this video. If you learned one or two things, okay, give this video a like, a thumbs up. Share and subscribe if you if you haven't. If you watch up up until this point, you guys are the best. Okay, please enough of this. <laughs> enough of this, people. Yeah, I really appreciate it if you if you watch up until this point. And please rate my look in the comment section. How do I look? On a scale of one to ten, rate it, please. Okay, please, you guys, we just get this vlog. I'll see you guys in my next one.